Hey everyone, once again welcome back to Bottom Science. Today we will see method of normalization and how to normalize a wave function. In last tutorial we already covered what is normalization and why we do it. So if you are interested in diving deeper into the meaning of normalization and its physical significance, be sure to check our previous video where we covered it in more detail. The link can be found in the video description below. So let's start this tutorial. Let's begin with our normalization condition first. So it says that if your wave function is normalized then it should follow this condition. Hence for normalizing a wave function we need only this condition to be satisfied. Now let's consider if you have a unnormalized wave function phi which is represented by this. So to construct a normalized wave function we can multiply this wave function with a normalization constant n. This constant is like a magic wand that ensures our wave function follows the rule of normalization. So our final wave function psi can be represented as this. Now we have to find out this normalization constant n to find out the final wave function. So to find out this normalization constant, we use normalization condition again here. So as you can see, this is our normalization condition. Now uh, we have to substitute our wave function in this psi. And as we can see that one is conjugate and another is only psi. So after putting the psi value which is uh, available here, after putting it here we can see that our n will come out and our psi will be inside. So this is our conjugate and this is our normal phi. So after plugging into it we can get our condition and we can get our n value as a under root this minus infinity to infinity psi star and psi dx. So this is the way to normalize a wave function and to find out the normalization constant. Now let's try to understand this with an example. So this is our wave function. So it is uh, for greater than 0 it is given as n into e raised to the power minus alpha x and for less than or equal to 0 it should be equal to uh, it is plus uh, alpha x. So uh, carefully note that for greater than 0 it is uh, uh, minus alpha and for less than it is uh, plus alpha. So uh, to normalize this wave function we just need to use the normalization condition as we have uh, already covered this. So we use this condition. So to normalize it uh, we have to put a psi value here. So we can do it as minus infinity to infinity we just have to put psi star psi dx equal to uh, we can break this integral into two components for example uh, like this psi star psi dx and we can add it as another integral that is sorry uh, that is 0 to plus infinity psi star psi so after putting it into we can get it as this so for minus infinity to 0 we can have this because uh, our alpha is plus so uh, this is added as uh, alpha x plus alpha x and for 0 to infinity this is minus alpha x minus alpha x that is 2 alpha x. So let's try to solve this more in detail. So we can see that we have two integrals here. So to solve this integral uh, we just have to differentiate this and into this value again. So uh, to solve this integral we can just write 1 by 2 alpha that is the differentiation of 2 alpha x and into e raised to power 2 alpha x and limit will goes from minus infinity to 0. So after putting these limit values here, so we can get 2 alpha into e raised to power 0, that is uh, 0 will go here, and minus e raised to power 2 alpha into infinity, that is minus infinity, sorry. So uh, after putting it, we can get value as 1 by 2 alpha e raised to power 0, that means it will be equal to 1. So minus e raised to power minus infinity and this will vanish out because e raised to power minus infinity is equal to 0. 
so our final value will be 1 by 2 alpha similarly if we solve this so we can get 1 by minus 2 alpha and e raised to power that is minus 2 alpha x and limit will goes from 0 to infinity this time and we can solve it as minus 2 alpha here and e raised to power infinity that is minus infinity after putting this here so and minus e raised to power 0 that is equal to 1 so this will vanish again that is e raised to power minus infinity is equal to 0 and we will get the value as final value for this as minus sorry plus 1 by 2 alpha so uh, after adding it uh, we can get final result as 1 by 2 alpha plus 1 by 2 alpha so n square into this value be, will should be equal to 1 so we can get final value of n as this so this is the way to normalize a wave function and the, to get the normalization constant in the end so i hope you have understood this uh, tutorial and and if you have any question you can put it as a comment we will try to answer it and make sure you are following our playlist which we are updating continuously so thanks for watching it have a nice day